Hey, what's up everyone? So in this video, I want to show you six Django template tags that are cool to use in your project. So I just want to demo them for you and kind of explain what they do here. So these are all really cool tags. And this video is going to be based on an article that I saw here. So I found this article on dev.2. It's called my favorite Django template filters. And essentially there's six tags listed here. So I'm just going to go over each one and demo them out for you. So check this article out. It's down in the video description. And let's just go ahead and look at our demo projects to start. So the first thing is I just created a basic Django application. We just have an app that renders out a couple of posts. We see the time something was posted, the title and the body to the post. Now we have three posts here and this is what the code looks like right now if I go into the template here. So in the template, we just have a loop here, loops through all the posts and we render out all the content. Now there's a few things in here, so I'm gonna clean up a few things. now. In the title here, the title, if you notice here, is actually lowercase. So we have a lowercase T, W, and a D. And sometimes maybe if somebody doesn't capitalize that title, it'd be nice to just automatically capitalize that for them and uh, just make that happen automatically. So that's the first thing we're gonna do or one of the things that we're gonna do. The next one is if we go into our admin panel, if we look at one of these, so let's go into the second post, you'll notice that we have some formatting. So we have some formatting here, we have a space, a URL and then three list items. But in here, it's all just kind of scrunched together. So we're gonna fix that. And we also want a time since tag that lets us know when that was posted as opposed to a date. We wanna know how long it's been. So let's just go through the article and check them out. So first of all, we'll go into the time since tag. So let me zoom in here. So we'll go to our template here and we're just gonna go into created and we see posted and then post.created. So that's the model attribute right there. We're just going to fix that. So we'll just do pipe here and we'll do time since. And then we'll just add in a go at the end. So it was posted and then we'll just get the time since. So if I refresh that, check it out. Now we know this was posted 19 minutes ago and that's what that tag does for us. Now the next tag on the list in this article is the line breaks tag. So what this one's going to do is it's actually going to allow us to format our text area. So if we look at the models here, we just have this text area and everything scrunched together, even though it should be separated. So we're just going to go ahead and get the line breaks tag. So we'll add that inside of here and we'll just do post.body pipe and then line breaks. So let's check this out, see what happens. If I refresh this, look at that. We have all the spacing here and now we actually see the list items just like they were inside of our body right here. And that looks a lot nicer. So it's just gonna make sure to follow the formatting uh, inside of any text area that you have. So it fixes that. So the next one is gonna be to truncate some words. So let's say we don't wanna show the entire post. Let's say this is the preview and then we want people to click on the post and uh, read it from there, just expand it. So all we need to do is go ahead and specify, <laughs> specify truncate words and then the amount of words that we wanna show in the preview. So I'm just gonna copy this one and we'll go in here and we're just going to go to post.body and we can actually just go ahead and chain them here so we don't have to remove this we can leave it like that we'll do truncate words and let's say we want the first 20 words so if i save that and refresh it all right there we go so it only shows us the first 20 words here and it actually adds the three dots here to let us know that there's something more there so that's pretty cool i like that one uh for now we're just going to go ahead and get rid of truncate words and we just want to show everything. So we'll leave line breaks. So the next one on the list, this one's going to be URL lies if I'm saying that right or yeah, URL lies. So what this is going to do is it's going to make sure that if there are any links inside of our post, it's going to go ahead and make that an actual link. So if we look right here, I have my URL here to my website. And if we look here, how it's rendering this out, if I refresh it, it's just rendering it, out, rendering it out as text. So I can't click on it. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna look for HTTP or HTTPS or WWW. So if that is anywhere in the body, it's just gonna make sure to add an A tag around that and make that an actual link. So if we go ahead and go into here, URL allies, let's grab that and we're just gonna chain that. We'll add it after line breaks and let's check it out. And there we go. So now I can actually click on that link. So it's a clickable link here and I'll just go back just to well, continue the tutorial. So the next one we have is word count. So let's say we want to actually figure out how many words there are in this post. Um, let's just create a bold tag here and we'll just say uh, total, total words. 
And all we need to do here is we'll just go ahead and get the body. So we'll just do post.body and we can do pipe and then we'll do, let's see, was, I think it was just word count. I always forget it right after I say it. So we'll just do word count, bring that in and that should give us a total amount of words. So there we go. We see this post has 91 words. This one has 60 and this one has 40. So it gives us the total count of that. So pretty cool. Now let's go to the last one and this is gonna be the title. So this one's pretty simple. All you do is just add title. So right now it's all lowercase. So we have a lowercase T, W and D. So let's go ahead and do pipe. And I've actually had to use this one quite a bit. I've used line breaks, uh, the title one here and time since. I like those, I've used those before. So we'll just do title. And let's refresh it. There we go. So it's just going to make sure that the first word in that sentence is capitalized. So that's it for this video. Just wanted to do this real fast. Make sure you check out this article and give this person credit. I just saw it. So I wanted to kind of follow along through it. I thought it was a cool idea. Um, and if you want to actually look up more template tags, there's a link in this article and there's a ton more here and you can, act you can actually create your own custom template tags here. So there's a lot of them here. Check this out and make sure to check out the article and give it a like. I'll see you all in another video.